Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session we'll be going through part three of our lesson on profile machining. In our previous lessons, we had completed the machining of the outside boundary of this part itself, and what's left to do still on the outside of the boundary is are the steps that are on both sides. Now, what I'm going to do is mill these steps, but I'm going to use a tool that is actually smaller than the width of the step, and we'll use the option of clear offset to clean the entire step. So I'll start off with a new operation of profile, and in my geometry, I'll choose this line here as my first geometry, as my first chain in geometry, make a note of the direction, that's the direction I want to work in, and I'll simply say OK, and then I'll just simply flip around to the other side and click on this line over here and say OK. I've completed my selection, now I'll continue with the tool. The tool that I would like to use will be my 10 millimeter end mill, and my levels, my upper level will be the top of the part over here, and the profile depth will be up until the step itself. And I'll accept that, and you'll note the step is at 20 millimeters in depth. Now, in my technology field, I'll be using my rough cut, and I'll leave 0.3 millimeters on the wall, and since I'm working on the step over here, I'll leave a floor offset of 0.3 one five millimeters as well. Now my step down will be every five millimeters and since my uh, tool is smaller than the step, the step is 12 millimeters but my tool is 10 millimeters, I'll use the option of clear offset. Clear offset will allow me to start further away from the geometry and then work my way in. So I'll start with an offset of say uh, seven millimeters and I'll step over every seven millimeters as well. Now I can either choose to do one way as shown over here or zigzag going back and forth. I want to choose the option of one way. Now one more thing I'd like to do in my geometry is since my geometry started from this point over here on this corner over here I'd actually like to extend my geometry on both ends. So I'll go back into my technology and in my modify area I'll click on geometry. Now I'll choose my first chain and I'll simply say okay you know what at the start I want you to start at five millimeters away. We'll just take that at the top view and at the end I'd, I'd like to do also another five millimeters as well and I'd actually like to apply that to both my geometries. I'll say that apply to all and I've extended both of them. I'll simply say okay. Now we'll do save and calculate and when we take a look at our simulation and I'll use the solid verify simulation this time using the isometric view you'll see that my tool goes down Now it's clearing away the step, each step at a time. What I can do to change that is simply say complete Z level, because I wanted to complete the Z level before going down, and also do it by each chain. In other words, do it one chain at a time, complete the Z level and get until you get to the bottom, and then go over to the next chain. If I have to do now save and calculate, and then simulate using a solid verify simulation you'll see that the tool now is going down clearing the Z level on that step but staying on that step and then doing the same thing on both sides now to complete the step I'd have to do another operation for finish so I'll simply do save and copy on this operation creating a new operation based on the previous operation I'll change my tool and I'll be using my 8 millimeter end mill for the finish cut. My levels will stay the same. My technology area, I will not do 
rough. I won't use this sort by chain and complete Z. What I will do is I will use my finish cut. And in my finish cut, first of all, I'll be going down again every five millimeters. But you'll note also, since I'm doing a clear offset, my offset on top is open. And I'm going to actually put in here what my previous offset was. The reason for that is simple. When I do my clear offset, I want it to work only on the floor up until 0.3 millimeters from the wall, and then it will complete the wall from the top to the bottom. Let's take a look at our simulation as this is done, and I'll use my solid verify simulation for this. You'll see that my tool will complete the floor up until just before the wall itself and then work on the wall itself and doing this on both sides as well. This completes our lesson on profile machining. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.